Okay, so this is what we're left, or uh, we left off with in the last tutorial, and in this video I'm going to be talking about comments. And actually, there's one thing you can do right here, is just delete that whole line of code, because you don't really need it. I mean, for the purposes of what we're doing, it's completely unnecessary. So, go ahead and delete that, and then you should be left with everything else right, right like this. Um, pretty much. Anyways. So today I'm talking about comments and sufficient comment usage. Now comments are these lines in your code that the compiler literally just ignores. It's only for the programmer, for the coder, the developer, etc, etc, when they're looking at your code. And there are two uh, ways that at least I know of to make comments in C++. And I think this is pretty much universal to all programming languages. Um, the first way is the two, the double forward slashes. When you do double forward slashes, that initiates the a comment line, and everything after that is commented out, as we say, uh, programmers say. So uh, in my compiler in Xcode, they, it appears green like this. Here you have a comment here where it says insert code here. See how that's primarily instruction for the programmer. You also comment uh, information about your program like the date it was created on, maybe the title of the program and the file name, or even the copyright because you, d you really should copyright your your code, your programs, if they're original and new, you should copyright them just, you know, um, for security protection reasons. If people want to steal your code, you can say, oh, I copyrighted it, it's right in there, etc., etc. So this is the first way, is the two forward slashes. And I, just to show you, you can do it on any line. I'm just going to put a comment here. This is a comment. And you could type in literally anything else you want in there. Okay. The second way to do a comment, I don't like the way they did the, this is all, this comment was already made for me when I made the, the program. I don't like the way uh, they did this comment. It's this is a block. It's supposed to be a block of comment, but I think an easier way is if you do a forward slash and then an asterisk. Okay, and that'll comment up everything below that, or at least until you get to another an asterisk and then another forward slash. And now this becomes what is called a block, um, a uh, yeah, a block, but it's a block of comments. And in some compilers, I know, in, or some IDEs, I know in the um, with Microsoft Visual C++, you can actually take these blocks and minimize them, so it, your code is kind of easier to read in your IDE. But um, unfortunately, Xcode doesn't. I don't think it can. Oh, can it? Oh yeah, it can. Okay, so I just figured that out. That's really cool. So see what I mean? It, it kind of compresses the code, the block, into one little statement. So then you can expand it or compress it. So those are the two ways to do comments in C++, at least that I know of. And um, when do you use comments? When should you use comments? You should use comments well for, like I said, basic information about your program at the very top. And you should use comments to explain weird parts of your program, or maybe if you're using a variable that has a funky name and, and you wanted to put in a comment and say, oh, I chose this name because, yada yada. Comments really, you don't need to go overboard and comment, comment on everything, but it is important that you comment sufficiently. And what determines whether or not your code is commented sufficiently is, it, is if your code makes sense to the programmer. And if it makes sense to the programmer with the comments, then it is commented sufficiently. And I will speak more in the future when we get into functions and stuff like that, when to use comments, when it is appropriate, and how to use them with functions and classes and stuff like that. So this video, I'm going to end it right here because I don't want it to go too long. But um, C++ comments.